super blessed this morning to be in northern Wisconsin and was doing some devotions and came across a passage spoken by Jesus. And Jesus did this so often. He used everyday experiences to help us understand some profoundly important life lessons. And in this example in John's Gospel, he uses the idea of bearing fruit. And what he's saying is, how do we live a life that glorifies God, that truly is the light and hope of Jesus to the world around us? And he tells us the important way we can do that. Listen, and then I'll briefly respond. John 15, verse 5, Jesus says, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. But apart from me, you can do nothing. Jesus is saying, if we want to live a life that glorifies his Father, if we want to love and we want to serve in full capacity, the way that is going to happen is if we remain in him. So how do we go about doing that? What's a practical application of how we can remain in Jesus so that we can bear fruit for the kingdom of God? Well, I believe there's some uniqueness for each of us on our journey, but I do know there's some key things. We've got to spend time with him. To remain in him means we've got to keep him in the center of our minds, of our thoughts, of our everyday lives. We've got to be in the Word of God. We've got to spend quiet time praying and being with Jesus. And so for me, this works best first thing in the morning. I grab a cup of coffee and I spend some quiet time connecting with our Father in Heaven, connecting with Jesus and just praying and asking Him to be involved in everything I do throughout the day. So let me lay that before you this week. What does it look like for you to remain in Jesus, to spend time with him, to be connected to him so that we truly can be the fruit that he's calling us to be, to be his hands and feet to the world around us? Think about that, reflect on that, and let's bear some fruit for the kingdom of God this week. God bless you. We'll see you next week.